Oh my god. Awesome. Bottoms up. Happy holidays. It's that time of year where everyone asks, what the f do I wear? I'm here to give you some answers. My favorite piece of clothing in all of my wardrobe are peplums. Peplums are amazing. I find shirts that are really bold patterns that are striking. And unless you're like Kate Moss, it looks really weird to tuck it in if you don't have the chunky belt and then you got this muffin top and you got this the, fupa. You got all this stuff going on and it's just like, oh my God, I love this shirt though. The quickest fix is a peplum. Dolce & Gabbana last winter had this amazing collection of religious figures. I saw it, I drooled, don't have $72,000 for a dress or a shirt. This one's definitely gonna be an inspiration piece. There was a lot of thought that went into like, where do I find the Jesus? How do you put it on a shirt? None of those paintings really existed in a way that I could take it and cut it and sew it. It was either on wood or some crazy ass stuff. What I did find, t-shirts on eBay that have religious figures on them. I chose Jesus, because love me some Jesus, but they also have like Buddha, and I think they have Krishna, and I don't think Allah can be on a painting, but the, I, we need clarification on that. Let's do it, right? Nail polish works really well for details, FYI. So we're gonna use this as our little holiday peplum. This peplum I got for $3.99. The problem is it looks like a quilt that you put on a chair. So essentially when I put this on my body, I end up looking like a quilted chair. However, I do kind of like the style of it. Oh, I even just looked in the mirror. What we're gonna do is we're going to spray paint it. <gasps> what is going on? Spray paint? Yes, spray paint. Most people don't know that you can spray paint clothes outside of the craft world because those people are crazy. For the base, we are going to use Simply Spray fabric paint. It's non-toxic, non-flammable, and that makes me nervous because I believe toxic and flammable are very important when you want to permanently dye something. When you have a, you know, a, an infection, drugs are good. I don't believe like, oh, just drink some tea. Like, I believe in pharmaceuticals. So, I'm a little weary. Who needs directions when you have an aerosol can? Mm. Ew. Oh my God, it didn't even do the back. So this is not supposed to be used on fabric. The biggest issue is overspraying. And when you overspray, it'll dry and flake off because it'll dry stiff and it will basically take everything with it when it falls off, except for a little layer of fabric. So this should not be used, but we're going to use this. Good. This is kind of turning out to be a huge pain in the ass. This has been heat pressed like a lot. I, they say five minutes. I, who's going to iron something for five minutes? I'm not. So. Forget about that. Um, I think just a couple of rounds of ironing with a cloth over it. I have a really disgusting pillowcase that I just slap on. Um, and we just uh, iron our Jesus. That would really make a good heavy metal band. Ironing Jesus. Time of truth. <gasps> oh my God, I love it. I should really be using a ruler. Okay, I can't find one. Time is money. Chance it. Sure. No wonder I only have like five people watching this. 
Um, there's no technique in this whatsoever. Okay, we have an intact Jesus. Jesus cannot be on the boob. Jesus can't be on the boob, dude. Dear baby Jesus. Oh my god, so many jokes. So many jokes, so little time. I'm going to sew fairly close around the edges because the trim is going to cover it up. And that's going to be a whole other ordeal. So hang on. we got to get our little Betty Crocker, Betsy Ross thing going on. Betty Crocker didn't sew. Although, you know what? Maybe she did. She sewed and made cookies. Do not drink and sew. Because you know what? Jesus is crooked. Take her trim. Fix Jesus. Fix the crooked Jesus. The great thing about the magical invention of a hot glue gun, it fixes anything. So we're gonna cover up some of these mistakes in crooked Jesus with some bedazzlement, shall we? So let's just place out the rhinestones. Looks good. I've said that all night and it really hasn't. Oof. It's smoking. I don't know what kind of chemicals I'm breathing in. Uh, this is like how not to craft. How not to sew, how not to craft. Stop, oh my God, okay. Ta-da, moment of truth. Jesus is a little crooked, so I'm gonna hold it this way. I'll do an insert shot. So now we're gonna try it on. I'm just gonna stand like this at parties. I'm just gonna be like, hey, what's up? Hey, how are you? Um, okay. Again, the PSA, don't drink and sew. See, because now I can blame all my horrible techniques on the drinking. I don't hate it. I think that it's fun for holidays, and we got a little Jesus going on. You're definitely gonna get comments on it. Like, why is Jesus crooked? And you can be like, because he accepted crooked things just as though they were straight. On the next episode of The Big Look, the backup shirt now that's been used for three episodes, I think we were, we are finally at the point where we're actually going to do something with it. So there you have it. And here's, here's to uh, Jesus. Here's to water that turned into wine. Until next time, live loud, be proud, and wear what you want to wear. This is where I would probably put in an F-bomb and be like, everyone, but I'm not going to because I made that promise to my nieces. No more swearing. Bump, fist bump, yeah. One, two, three, four, one, two. A bead just totally fell off.